All right, my friends. So as you can see, we are getting a new Legends Limited character in Dragon Ball Legends, and I will react to the animations, and I would love to hear your opinion about the animations in the comments section below. Now, before we start, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it to stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends. And without any further ado, let's just get started. So. I already know that it is going to be Legends Limited Omega Shenron because unfortunately you can't keep anything without being spoiled for it. However, I didn't see the animations yet, so we will watch the animations and let's see how they are going to be. Alright. Sin Shenron. Is Shenron. Nova Shenron. Is that Rage Henron? Are you kidding me? Okay. <laughs> Rage Henron, huh? Alright, I like actually the fact that they have been adding some uh, some basically characters from GT that aren't really that extremely hype. I really like that. I absolutely love that. Because there is no other way for them to add these characters other than this, so... It's really nice to see them doing it. Behold the power of all seven. Alright, what are they going to give him as a legendary finish? Because they already did actually a lot for the ultra character. Alright. Oh, that looks actually very good. Yo, what the hell? Oh my god, that green card is just perfect. <laughs> okay, okay. Not bad. Oh. Oh no, stop. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, at least they added some stuff to it. They added some stuff to it and made it actually worthy of the legendary finish. If you didn't notice, they used a lot of the Ultra Omega Shenron's ultimate, which is a little bit disappointing. No, not a little bit actually. It's a lot disappointing. It's very disappointing. There is so much that they could have done for the Legends Limited Omega Shenron, but instead they decided to go with what they already went with. And that is actually very disappointing. Like, they could have done a, a, a revival Omega Shenron. They could have done basically anything that he did against Goku and Vegeta, but they just decided to go with what they already went with. This is really disappointing. Like... I just can't believe this. <laughs> Seriously, dude. You could have not thought of any other ultimate for his legendary finish, right? This is the only thing that you could have thought of. Like, come on, man. Especially with the fact that they are basically giving us this character after the anniversary, which means that they are trying to bait some Chrono Crystals after the anniversary. And... Something like this isn't going to get as many people as possible to summon on. This is not going to get as many people as possible to summon on. However, we have finally a Legends Limited Omega Shenron, which is basically continuing with the... Um, with the GT combo, hopefully we are at some point going to see a Legends Limited Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I think we are going to get him before the Legends Festival, because that is the best time for him. And then maybe during the Legends Festival we are going to see Ultra Super Saiyan for v uh, Goku to end up basically the GT combo of this year and end up the year with it as well. Anyways, this is my opinion about it. Let me know your opinion about it in the comments section below. And who do you think is going to be capable of defeating the trio now? Is Shenron, Nova Shenron, Rage Shenron? And then on top of that, we have also the uh, Legends Limited Omega Shenron. Who is going to defeat these guys? <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it to stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends. And until next time, see you as always in the next video.